Hello everyone, welcome to my Tuesday forecast and let's take a look at the Euro and the US dollar. Mm, what I'm seeing here, so first let me take this back to this point. So at this point what I really liked about this particular pair is I was seeing this larger descending and inside of it I was seeing a smaller descending. As you can see on the bottom, break and retrace, break and retrace, break and retrace. Also what I liked, we were just breaking and leaving large wicks. So this is like a perfect textbook setup and uh, this is very very likely to reverse to the upside. So at this point I was very happy to look for a reversal and to look for long trades because I was seeing as I said a larger descending and inside of it was a smaller descending. So I know that the market makers were taking out people's stops and retracing. Taking out stops, retracing, taking out stops, retracing. And then after this candle, I was very happy to place a pending order at the at the inside bar, which is here. So at this level, I had a pending order to go long. Uh, and then what happened? I didn't actually get an opportunity to enter. We broke the high and we continued to the upside. So currently I am liking this to go to the upside. I do like this price action but i won't be getting in just yet because i need to see another candle push up so even if this has a clean close without the wick if it is a solid close i would still not enter it because uh, on the euro and the us dollar i want to see uh, a little bit more i want to see one more candle so this is just not enough yet to look for a long trade but i'm really really liking this confluence of this smaller descending inside of a larger descending these wicks at the bottom and this reversal to the upside so i'm very happy to look for long trades if we get more of a push then look for a break and retest or look for a flag if we get more of a push to the upside uh, also we can get something like this push pull back another push look for a break and a retest uh, uh, and the possibility is that we start to ascend so this prior price action doesn't mean that we have to continue to the upside it is just an indication that there is a higher probability we will continue trending than, uh, than not. So, but also what can happen, we can get an ascending from here. And then after that ascending, we can get the push to the downside. And I would then look for a reversal because then price action is telling me we want to go down. Also, we can have a descending from here. <clears throat> and then I will look also for momentum to the upside and... Uh, and the flag for example because then and that would mean we had an impulse a small pause a descending and then a continuation of this upside movement and an, an impulse out of a descending so that that would definitely fit my plan and i would like to take that trade to go long uh we can just reverse so get something like this and if we get a large impulse i would look for a flag but i don't think that will happen that is not a uh, high probability to happen uh when looking at this price action but we need to forecast uh, every possibility so we can <clears throat> also get a push pull back another push then i'll look for a break and a retest so this i would definitely look for because then we are seeing a trend down impulse pull back another impulse and yeah that is it for the euro and now for the euro and the japanese yen this one has been very very volatile so as you can see these moves are huge 100 pip, pips 150 pips definitely volatility in the in the japanese pairs so at this point there was an opportunity to enter right here so this actually would be we had a descending then we had a reversal to the upside this impulse and then we had a combo trade to the entry point and the entry point would be this inside bar but for me i didn't take it because uh, at this point i was seeing first a large momentum shift this candle showed me a large momentum shift to the downside so this sort of showed me we wanted to go up then we ranged and then we just shifted momentum down and also the volatility is, was very high so my stop loss would be uh, 12 pips which would be like this ultra ultra small so I was not willing to place a risk right here because of the, the large volatility and this large momentum shift but if someone did take it then they would be in great profit now because it just tapped the inside bar and went up this this pair usually does this so this is a common characteristic of the euro and the japanese yen 
we get a descending, it forms an inside bar right here, we get a reversal, and then we just tap that inside bar and shoot to the upside straight straight from that point. And I would definitely take this if the volatility wasn't that high. So if my stop loss was, was bigger, something like this, maybe 25 pips, I would definitely be taking this. But volatility is what kept me out. I was I was um, not willing to place that one percent risk where I could just get tagged in and tagged out with with this move. Uh, and yeah, so now we continue to the upside. But as I'm seeing, uh, then we broke and retraced, broke and retraced. So we are create, creating this ascending at the top, and I'm looking for a reversal down and then a flag, or maybe we continue to the upside. Then I will look for a flag to the upside. Or I'll look for a push, pull back, another push, break and retest. And this doesn't look as good as the euro and the US dollar. This looks more that the move is exhausted here at the top. And um, I would I would uh, actually be looking maybe for a range here also. That is also a possibility. Or we can form a descending here. Then I would need to be careful. But if we get a large impulse, I would look for a flag because then we would get this sort of an ascending into descending and we can just range. But if we get the large impulse, then that confirms the momentum and I'll definitely be looking for, for a trade. Uh, and yeah, we can get a large impulse down. I would then look for a flag. But as I said, I'm really trying to, uh, I'm really sitting on my hands because of the volatility. I don't like the volatility because my stop is just too small to handle these sort of price movements. So if I would, uh, as I said, place uh, an order here, I would only, it would be only this, this big, the stop loss. So really, really uh, something to keep in mind on the Japanese pairs currently, they are very, very volatile. So I would like for the market, as I said, to just calm down a bit, show me a nice, some nice price action, something like this, then a reversal, as I said, and a nice, clean, tight bomb that isn't very volatile so that I can place my, my regular stop loss and not get tagged in and tagged out in the same move. Uh, but yeah, currently seeing if this momentum will continue to the upside or if we will reverse. And now for the Aussie and the US dollar, this one is just ranging. So uh, this one, let me check if it's, if it's really volatile. Well, it's not that volatile, I would say it's okay. Uh, nothing compared to the Japanese pairs definitely but this one is just ranging we are seeing an, a descending into an ascending structure so what I am expecting actually is more of this range and when I see this I don't want to be taking any trades I'm a trend trader so I want to stay out of that sort of price action I want to see a nice trend to get in I want to see something like this but this is just if we squeeze this just shows no direction in the market this is just pure ranging price action so very very bad for me and i'm sitting on my hands uh, also i'm waiting for either an impulse up then a flag or a nice impulse down then a flag or a nice clean as or a nice clean ascending structure push down then look for a short trade or maybe a nice clean descending structure push up and the long trade I need to be careful because we're getting a descending into an ascending then if we get a descending this can just stay ranging so I need to see a nice large impulse to look for a trade and that is it for the Aussie and the US dollar don't really have anything to say right here but what what I do find interesting is it is the Aussie and the Japanese yen because I was actually in a trade right here <clears throat> so at this point I was seeing a trend down I was seeing a large impulse pullback continuation of the momentum nice impulse nice break nice close didn't leave a large wick and then a nice pullback right here and i was willing to place a pending short order at the inside bar or no at the most recent low which is actually a break and retest trade as i talk all, about all the time so just a push and the <clears throat> and retest of the most recent low and this was also a combo trade. A combo trade is when we get an impulse like this, and then we get a pullback, counter trend move, and then another leg. As you can see, we got the first high, uh, low here, first high here, second low here, and then I placed a pending short order because I know that the combo trades, which this 
ended up being are very very high probability on the Aussie and the Japanese yen especially when we are trending so especially when it's a continuation trade combos work very very well and I was willing to place that risk I didn't even mind the volatility because uh, to me this look this looked good I was liking the price action it fit my plan and uh, I would take it again because to me it was a good trade especially because it was a combo and I was seeing this nice trend so at this candle I got tagged in and tagged out at the same with the same candle so there was volatility in the market which was one of the warning signs but still I was will willing to place that risk I liked the trade and uh, and it was a 1% loss so then we broke the high retraced right here maybe some people were looking for a continuation to the upside they were seeing this impulse upside they were seeing these two candles continue after this break of the high but to me this just wasn't enough and the prior price action didn't look didn't look good at that point because it just broke the high retraced broke the high retraced and then continued with just these two candles so to me this didn't fit my plan to go long i was not seeing any any setups here or any any high probability patterns but if some people did, did take it then then uh it is good because it fits their plan but as i said for me i just didn't see anything right here then we broke the low retraced broke the low retraced broke the high and then retraced so this is just signaling a range as is the aussie and the us dollar maybe some people are looking for a long trade after so after this candle they're looking for a long trade because they're saying they're seeing a descending small descending here but to me i'm just seeing a range especially now that we broke with just one candle and retrace straight away this to me just signals a range and also if you look at it from the larger picture we are just seeing this descending into an ascending into descending and now we broke the high retraced so not really showing me anything and there is still also volatility in the market definitely something something to keep in mind so what i'm waiting for i'm waiting for first the, first for the volatility to to die down a bit for the price action to not be so er erratic but to calm down and to actually show me a ni nice move so to show me a nice trend or a nice impulse something like this then a nice flag or to the downside impulse and then a nice flag or to show me a nice clean ascending structure reversal down then a trade to go short or maybe to show me a nice descending structure where the price action comes down and just breaks the low retraces in a in a calm matter and forms clean price action then reversal look for a long trade so yeah looking for something like that i want to see when i when i say a clean descending or an ascending i mean this this is just the perfect textbook descending structure i mean it, it could not get better than this uh this is on the euro and us dollar this is just textbook so i'm looking for that sort of price action on this pair because i'm currently just seeing dirty price action and volatility those are the two warning signs i need to just sit on my hands and do nothing until i see something better because this can just um ping me in and ping me out of trades this can just create uh, a string of losses for me so definitely staying out and that is it for the forecast currently uh, i am liking currently i'm liking the euro and the us dollar maybe to continue to continue to the upside but we will see the japanese pairs are very very volatile wanting them to come down and the aussie and us dollar is currently ranging so i want to see some conviction and yeah, that is it and I will see you tomorrow.